What's up aviators? My name is Echo and I'm an instructor here at Sierra Charlie Aviation. And this week, we're talking about medicals. Let's get right into it. Hey, that one's for runway 2-1. Come on, baby. Actually, it's a really nice day out. And as always, it's a great day to be an aviator. Now, the first thing that you need to consider when you're getting your medical is where are you going to get it? So an aviation medical examiner, or an AME, you can find a list at FAA.gov or ask your local physician if they're an AME or if they may know one. Now, the second thing that we need to consider is what type of flying are we doing? So that'll determine the class of medical that you get. You can find your first class, second class, and third class medicals at part 6123. Our first and second class medicals are for our professional aviators. Our third class medical is for our recreational and private aviators, or those of you that need to get recurrent. Now, the third thing that we need to consider is how old are you? So over 40 or under 40. Depending on your age, the length of your medical will change a little bit, and you can also find that at 6123. Now, you can also get another medical, which is called basic med. So you can find more information about basic med at FAA.gov or tune in to a later video to learn more about it. As always, it's a great day to be an aviator and we'll see you next Tuesday.